can you talk about that year that you were sort of in this rut from maybe day one to day 364 <laughs> that each day did something new yeah. happen did you see someone that said "Ooh, I like this person's interesting I want to write about them. Well, for us, it, that year was comprised of um, working with other people on, on other on their projects. True. And so it was kind of building um, our community a little bit. So we weren't completely not doing anything, but we just we just got into the rut of helping others complete their projects, and we forgot. Oh, we Which, need to. Some Which of them are great. great. I mean, like so, Connect to uh, Wonders previous short film that played at Dance with Films last year was a part of that. Um, yeah, we edited that. Yep. Um, and then uh, I produced and Chris edited uh, IFP Spotlight winner Photo Booth, which was shot on 35mm film, so we got to work on the 35mm editing process and producing process. Um, so yeah, so there, there was that and I think I think we just then finally said, you know, we need to get back in the director's seat because we were watching all these and we we're like, something's missing out of all these projects. Oh, they're not ours, you right, know, yeah. kind of thing. And yeah. so we were just like inspired to just be like, we need to, we need to do it again, we need to make another feature. Because we were working on a lot of things that were shorts too, um, which is great, but it's just like, you know, we've already made a feature, we can do this again, why aren't we yeah. moving towards making another feature? So. Yeah, and I can't, I can't pinpoint if there was a specific moment of inspiration or anything. But we got I think the, we just we got the bug and then we went yeah, way we just, overboard. <laughs> yeah, we just kind of I, I don't know we like just sat down for a weekend and hammered out an outline and then um, and then spent the next you know like nine months or something writing. I think but, it was the Sundance writing deadline was what really spurred us. Oh, maybe we yeah. Were, we, we we submitted last vacation to that. I think um, yes. And that spurred us to get get writing. So regardless if you get into anything, deadlines are awesome. Deadlines yeah, that's totally. Awesome. Right. Yeah, it was that's the totally Sun, right. it was the Sundance uh, Producers Lab, Directors Lab that we were submitting our script to. Or writers. It was the writers. Lab. Lab. It was the writers lab. Yeah, yeah, because that's how you get to the directors. Right. And the yeah. Lab. yeah. Yeah. But you know, I mean, it's always a it's a shot in the dark. But the deadline's there, the so deadlines. it'll it'll at least make you finish something. Exactly. Because without a deadline, there were you know reruns of Bird Terriers is on Netflix now, so it's it, you, know, you you can never get anything done. <laughs> What, what gifts do you each bring to your team? You know, with David and myself, we have our pluses and minuses. One's really good at this, the other one maybe needs more work. What, yeah. For the two of you, what was that? Um, I'm a control freak, so that's my plus. I, I embrace it. Um, no, it really helps me in producing, scheduling, um, all the logistical issues. I, project management comes really easy to me, um, and so and I do it a, a lot uh, in my job as well, at my day job. Um, and so I tend to, in pre-production, take, we, we say 70-30 split, so I'm a 70% in pre-production, um, and Chris is helping, but just in a, in a and a slightly more support. You usually capacity. by saying things like, I want a helicopter, and then running away, and then making her <laughs> figure out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, in, in writing, we're definitely 50-50. We definitely have strengths. Uh, Chris, he can, his rough draft is always perfectly formatted and exactly the way a script should look and read and feel and everything else. And mine's like usually this jumbled mess and it's just like, I'm giving you exactly the exact thoughts that I think people should say and I'm not gonna be beat around it at all, you know? And so my, my scripts are very lean, his are very wordy. And so we yes. kind of then balance each other out because I'm trimming and he's adding and you know, that sort of thing. And then um, on set where, you know, Chris tends to be, he works a little bit more with the DP in the camera department, and that's because his head works a little, and he's an editor, so he tends to work a little bit more. Like, I can, I can see the pieces of the movie, I think, clearer probably than yeah, you can, but absolutely. you can see the emotional through lines. Yes. Maybe not clearer, but like, you just, you have a different way of approaching it than yeah. I do, so. I tend to be more intuitive that way, and then I'm also working with the AD and the, the production side of things that way. And then uh, in post, Chris is an editor, so he tends to take a little bit more of the lead in the 70-30 split, whereas I guess it just, it's nice because I get to really just sit back and, um, yeah. and really well, it was it was really it was good on on this is ours. So uh, it was the first time that I was working with someone else as a co-editor, which was a phenomenal experience. And I highly recommend all directors who edit their own things get another editor. Um, but uh, uh, we, since she and I were working on it so closely, we could actually reserve Lindy so that she would only watch scenes that we thought were done. So that she never had to go through the process of seeing rough cuts and whatever. So that when she was seeing a scene, it was fresh and she could give her. You, like Honest, it was a, yeah. it was a, it was a a, 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 a new perspective was coming into the process because we could just let her be away from it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is really helpful. Yeah.